Okay, so this is the fourth tutorial in the Action Script 3 for Games series. And once again, I have a stuffy nose. I apologize for that. Um, this tutorial is Intro to Operators. Now, what is an operator? Let's see here. These lovely ladies here. Are these operators? With these 1920s phone systems? That's about all I know about this picture. But are these operators? No. How about this mad scientist operator guy doing experiments? No, he's not an operator either. Operator in action script are is a fancy name for doing operations. Just like in math class that you all went through in school. You have a whole list here. Now let me zoom this in for you. You can see if you just Google action script operators, the first link for me at least was uh, from Adobe's own uh, reference. So what you've got here is a whole list of all the operators and we're just going to deal with a few of the main ones that you already know. The plus sign, an operator. Uh, the minus minus and plus plus are a little more complicated, but we'll get into that. So you got your standard plus, your standard minus. The multiply sign instead of an X is the asterisk. Uh, the divide is this forward slash. This is this here is for getting a, a remainder. Um, the plus plus and minus minus we'll get into. It just basically means subtract one or add one. Uh, th these are often used in a loop, but um, we're not going to get into that now. Then you've got more ones down here, plus equals, minus equals. I'll, get, I'll show you all this stuff either, but these are operators. Now let's close all those windows here, and let's get back to our project file. So, what we got here, first things first, we have our standard project file, text box, called Hello Text, which we're going to use in a little while, but first off, let's get to here. So this is where we left off in our last tutorial. We created a variable of type integer, and we set it to 5, and we we're tracing it, it traces out 5. We're not going to do it again. So, we actually don't even need the stop command now, so I'm because there's only one frame in the timeline, so I'll get rid of it for simplicity's sake. See, there's no other frames here. So, let's get back to our code. And we, so we've got here our variable called number and integer equal to five. So, if we let's put it here. So if we trace this out, it right now is is equal to five. We're gonna we're gonna set it. We're going to give it a new value after it's created. So once again, just to remind you, you don't need the var here, the var keyword, because you only do that the first time it's created. Now we just refer to our variable as through its name, number. So num. Excuse me. So let's let's say num equals num plus one and we're going to trace out num so what we should see ding 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 six so we've just used our first operator the plus operator very simple i'm not going to dwell on it because everybody knows this from third grade math num minus one four up here we're looking up here so we've just minus one from our number variable, and then we're tracing it. It's four. Now let's do just to go through them all. Num times one for anyone that remembers this stuff. It's gonna be five again. Five times one is five. Five divided by one. For simplicity's sake, let's divide it by 5. 
5 divided by 5. 1. So those are our four basic plus, minus, multiply, and whoops, divide. Those are them all. So you can you can then always get more complicated by saying num plus equals this is another common one you do in repetition, which you're going to see a lot later on in our tutorials. If you want to move something across the screen, do something like that for, again, building towards our ultimate goal of creating small games. This is a common operator you'll see. So num plus equals 2. So what's that going to trace? 7. Now, why not just do num <clears throat> num plus 2 Let's see what happens when we do that it's still 5 now why is that because we're not changing the value now to change the value of a variable another important concept that ties in the third tutorial and this one you're not changing a variable if you don't use the equal sign. Now, we, we said num plus 2, but we didn't say we want, this is not the same as saying we want to change the value of num by 2. It's not that. And the reason for that is there's no equal sign. Now watch. Now if I said num equals num plus 2, as you just saw in the last thing, then we get our 7 here. So, big difference there. Just keep in mind when you're changing the value of a variable with an operator or for whatever reason, on the left side, you've got num, you've got the name of your variable, whatever it is, in this case, num. The equal sign separates it, and you're setting, so what you're doing is setting, to make it simpler here, you're setting the left side of the of the equal sign is your equation. The left side is the name of the thing you're ch you're changing, and the right side is what you're changing it to. So in this case, we're setting num, which is first equal to five. We're setting it to seven, and we're tracing it to the screen to the output. So keep that in mind. Now num equals num, you know, it's it's fine. It's, we're not changing anything. We're just set, resetting it to the same value that it already has. But keep in mind, we do this. It doesn't even work. So now, the reason is, the reason that didn't work is, I was trying to, this is not a full expression. This is not a full statement in action script. I'm trying to make a change, but it doesn't know what I'm cha changing to what is what. Without this, you can't have, you can't modify a value without the equal sign. Is the point I'm trying to hammer home here. So that equal sign, whatever value you're giving to the variable on the right side, left side is the current value that you're trying to change. So those are basic operators. Now, you can do a whole lot more with these, but it's going to involve doing them, doing the same operation with an operator repeatedly. That's where, like I made reference to before, you can say you have a button on the screen, a jump button in your platformer or action game or whatever and when the player presses the jump button you would increase the coordinate of the character so you would pull them up to make them jump now this stuff I'm going to be getting into a little later not too far off but uh, 
once we start writing our own functions, we're going to get into that. All right, that's that's the bare basics of operators. Now we're going to see later on of what we can do with them. Thanks for watching.